everybody. Welcome to my very first tasting of 2021. We are doing a blind rye tasting. Seven bottles up here that are ranging from Sagamore Spirit, two of those, the Senator, Roulette Rye, Dad's Hat. Now, what is rye? Rye in the United States of America means it has to come from a mash bill of at least 51% rye. They can add a lot of corn in there. In fact, a lot of the Kentucky ryes will... Uh, actually go high up on the corn, so they'll have like sweeter profiles. And then in Indiana, they have a mash bill of 95% rye, and they're using they're using all kinds of fermentation techniques to get all that rye in there because rye is very difficult to ferment. So here we go with glass one. Uh, glass one is coming in very fruity. Oh yeah, fruity, smoky. I'm talking peach cobbler. And some pepper. I'm gonna go into glass number two. And this is my first tasting of the year. My goal is to like do these regularly. And so you can have an idea for what my whiskey of the year is going into uh, going into December. Okay, glass two is definitely definitely a drop off in the nose from glass one. Kind of charcoaly. Uh, a lot of herbs. Like a hint of dill, like a, a dill pickle. Yeah, two's coming in really, two's coming in hot. Kind of one-dimensional. Uh, I'm thinking it's, it's you know, it's got a lot of herbs to it, so it's got some, like, hints of, like, oregano. You know, dill. And then, like, a touch of rosemary. But, I mean, this is a, this is a very, um, it's, it, I'll come back to it because it's not always a, once you've tasted something that's, like, really, like, dominated your palate and you really love it it's it's uh like glass one did it's not always a good thing for that next glass so i will definitely come back to number two to make sure that it wasn't just having some palate effect there glass three uh glass three has uh some like dehydrated orange so you know those uh airborne packets that have um uh that you get in the airport before you get on the airplane it's like opening up one of those and smelling it so after the dehydrated orange there's like a like a hint of nutmeg uh the palate's very oily so what i mean by that is it kind of it kind of feels like oil wood on the palate it's very you know like a you know, you get you get a little bit of olive oil with your bread at uh, a nice Italian restaurant, and you just taste the olive oil by itself. That's kind of how it feels a little bit. Uh, it it's just kind of like beating on the palate. So there's like just like little little hunks of the of glass number three just like sitting right there on that back palate. Uh, number four smells uh, a a little bit like it's got like some some brandy esque qualities. Like it smells a little bit like a pear brandy. There's definitely some some fruity action going on. Definitely a, a jump different than what we've been tasting. Hey oh. So corn pudding. So it's like it's it's, it's all, this thing's all over the place from pear uh, to corn pudding. You wouldn't think that you'd be tasting corn pudding in a rye whiskey, but hey, it's uh, it's got that corn kind of like a corn pudding taste in there, uh, and then it's got like a like a piece of uh, like a a waffle, like a, a pecan waffle. So five has a very distinct leather cigar box.
kind of like a Chinese allspice. Oh, wow. Wow. Number five is exceptional. It's beautiful. It's complicated. So number six is uh, is actually holding its own. Uh, you know, like I was saying, number five may be so good that it makes me not really think about number six. But the fact is, it's it's there. It's got kind of a rye muffin, rye muffin out of the oven kind of smell to it. And this is going to sound weird. This is going to sound really, really weird. But I make a lot of rice, and this smells like overcooked brown rice. So if you've ever cooked rice and you've, and you've overcooked it, you know what that smell is. And it's like an overcooked brown rice. Definitely smoky. It's got some charcoal on there. And then some, um, you know, definitely the, the, the smoke is overwhelming. The, ch the charcoal, the, the, the oak is overwhelming. But after that, you get a nice rye bread. Touch of honey. Okay, so last glass. Ooh, number seven getting on up in here. This is... Oh, man. Oh, yeah. So seven is what you dream about if you love grains. Like, to me, this is smelling. Um, this is like, um, you know, like a like a rice pilaf. Rye bread. And an English muffin coming right out of the toaster. That nose is getting me really excited. I can't wait to taste it. I'm a little concerned I might be disappointed in it. I mean, you take a look at that color. That color is a, is a lot lighter uh, than some of the other ones that we've had up here. But, um, you know, f those aromatic properties that we picked up is, is, uh, could very well be a, could very well be a sign of something that is just doing great in the barrel. But I see that color and I want it to be, maybe be uh, a little darker, but. Let's see. Hot damn, that's beautiful. Wow. That's elegant. It's absolutely complex. It's layered in chocolate, honey, cinnamon, like a cinnamon toast crunch. And the winners for this blind tasting, the first of 2021, coming in at number seven or last place was glass number six, Sagamore Spirits Double Oak. Just found it too woody for me. Coming in at number six, glass number two, dad's hat bottled and bond as i noted it just felt a little hot uh coming in at number five glass number three roulette rye i really did like this one i like the oily mouthfeel of it so given what we know the price point is i'd say go buy it coming in at number four glass number one and extremely expensive whistle pig 15 year old now this was a barrel pick it was very fruity but at the end of the day, it did not have the muscle to get into the top three. At number three, glass number four, Sagamore Spirits Cast Drink. Sagamore Spirits Cast Drink, glass number four. I love the pear fruitiness here, and I just can't get over the pecan waffle. So glass number four, Sagamore Cast Drink, highly, highly recommended. But the top two were extremely, extremely tasty.
Coming in at number two, the only blend in the bunch, the only blend in the bunch, glass number seven, Proof and Wood, 25-year-old. It's an American blend, and I say go check it out. And it's, I think it's under 200 bucks in most places, so definitely uh, available, and if you can afford that, buy it. And in first place, actually coming from the same company as Proof and Wood in the Roulette Rye, that is the Senator, glass number five, glass number five, the Senator Barrel Proof. So congratulations to the Senator Barrel Proof for winning my first wine tasting of 2021. I appreciate you tuning in. Be safe out there and go check out all of these bottles. And remember, no licking handrails, no licking trash cans, and vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers.